Okay, leave it to technology. My battery ran out. All right, we were trying to tie a knot. <laughs> oh, trying to tie this last knot. It's just a square knot, which you tie by going, taking the left over right, and putting it through and then putting the opposite right over left and putting it through. And once you get that knot, it's a square knot, when you see it, you'll, you'll know it. I'm gonna undo this one and show you the one I just made. Then down here, make sure they're all got a little bit of tightness to them. You should have plenty to work with. And then cut off the ends where you're comfortable with them being. Because I'm going to restring this one with white, I'm going to leave those long. The next thing we do is take a piece of elastic. That's going to be too long. But take a piece of elastic I'm sorry, I'm not doing the inside, I'm doing the outside. <laughs> okay, next we're going to do it through the center and take a piece of elastic, that's why it's this length, and run it straight across one time and cut it. Make sure you burn the end slightly to melt that nylon on there. Using the same little piece of metal with the loop at the end of it, from the out, I mean, from the inside of the book, in that middle eyelet, push that loop through to the outside. And what we're going to do is put the two ends of this piece, both ends, through that metal loop. And we're going to be finished here in just a second. I'm going to kind of pull that gently through, get my hands on it, and this one is not as easy as the others have been. And it wouldn't hurt if I had a better gauge of wire. Not quite so thin. Okay, here it comes. I just want the ends of that elastic to come through. I think I'm tr I'm making it look harder than it really is. They're almost through, and it's from this direction. There's one. There's the other one. Okay, then I'm going to take the metal piece off, set it aside, and I've got this little loop on the front, so I'm going to tie it. I'm going to go ahead and pull a little bit more so I can have enough to work with. I'm going to take the two ends and meet so that they're equal. We're going to end up pulling it all the way back through the front after we get this knot made. But make a knot in it, holding it as close to the ends as you can, and then pull it tight. And then I'm going to pull this back through to the front so that it is now our closure that will hold it shut. Okay. Now, y'all need to let me know about this so I can finish it. It's going to be the very last thing I do. The grapes on top or behind. I don't think that's going to work. I made it go through that little piece of lace right there. And it covered up that eyelet very well. 
and the back looks good. I'll tack that down a little bit more. And maybe the tips of this too. So that needed to lay down a little better. y'all hear my dog barking he wants me to hold him I was just holding him a few minutes ago I have a dog that has um, we think he has uh, seizures epile epileptic seizures he has for years and years and years and it always scares me to death but anyway I usually hold him through those seizures and that's what I was doing because he had another one today doesn't have them often, but when he does, we try to be right there for him. Now he wants me to <laughs> go back out and get him, little turkey. Okay. Okay, let's fill this baby. I have a pile of, <laughs> I'm excited. I have a pile of uh, inserts next to me here. They're from different companies they have different things on the inside I'm not going to get into that just yet all I'm going to do is use them for reference as we start to fill the book uh, I want you to see really what it does I'm going to hold up four the first and fourth ones I'm going to use the, the darker ones so that you can see them if I were to put those in right now just four of them you'll be able to see that there's an overhang of the book, the cover, at the front and back. I mean, the front cover and the back cover from that. Well, I wanted to be able, you can do that, but this is why I made my book longer. Remember, my original has all of the goodies in it that are sticking out from the edge of it. I wanted this book to be thick enough to hold a whole bunch and not have that happen. So what I'm going to do is add a few more inserts and see how many I can actually get. This will be six inserts. And I still have some room. That's six. I'm going to add a few more. This is eight look at that that's eight inserts and the reason I'm showing this to you those of you who already have the uh, travelers journals uh, know what I'm talking about when you start adding not only inserts but folders um, dashboards things of that nature to your books uh, to your covers you you naturally use the bulk of the cover because it becomes the spine and that's what I was trying to make is something that can hold a lot of thickness of material and give me the edges where I want them to be which is not where there's anything extra hanging out of the book so with four elastics I am able to get in one two three four five six seven eight inserts and you can go further if you want to that's eight of them I can't even think of eight uses right now for all of these but they will fit and I I don't always use eight I generally use like four or five maybe so that would give me this much more thickness to work with I put dashboards in that have washi tape on them I put no uh, folders in that have stickers and then I have a plastic uh, folder um, a pocket or the zipper pocket on it and with those thicknesses added it's going to be about this thick if I really am honest whoops I'm hooked let's see if that's close let me turn it this way see if I could hold it all at the same time I might be able to show it to you 
but that's about the thickness I like. So I'm able to do that in this book. Um, I'll show you the papers and the inserts on another video sometime and show you how to do it um, that way. I'll show you the types of papers I have. Generally, you take an insert, you put it through the elastic, and the elastic holds the insert. They also, I know the Midori or Traveler's Notebook Company sells these elastic straps. They are made out of silicon. They are not rubber band uh, rubber. Okay. You can take two books, put two books together by using these elastic straps, with these bands, and put through the center of two different inserts. I'm not going to do a real good job of it, but, but I will be able to show you. And then by making a double, you can put one under the center one. And on one strap, I have just been able to add, hold on, I just pulled the whole thing. Oh, I see what I did. I happened to grab that second one. I don't need that. I'm showing y'all one, one elastic holding three books. And see how I did that? So ultimately, I could put three books on each elastic and have 12 books in here. Now, if I did that, the books would start to slide forward and come out the front like that. I don't want to do that. Eight's plenty. And so I could put, you know, two on each one and not put anything through the middle like that. The elastic could go there and hold two on each one. Now, the elastics you can buy off of Etsy, eBay. Um, I know there's other stores around that sell these. I'm not near any of those stores, so I have to rely. I usually do Amazon. Uh, Amazon is my favorite source for the majority. If I can find it on Amazon, that's that's where I'm going to go to get it, probably. So that's why I always talk about Amazon and show y'all the uh, where I get them from there. But that's how you fill a notebook. Um, you, like I said, there's other items you can put in it. For example, this one has the zipper pocket. I have it stuffed very full of stuff. Uh, note cards and washi tapes and all kinds of stuff and washi tape on the outside and um, just all kinds of stuff. This is washi tape on a dashboard that I made in a previous video. I had to pull all this out, sorry. And I make those up, cover them with washi tape and put those in my notebooks as well. That needs a little work now. <laughs> but basically, that's a notebook. I still can't decide on that up there. So, we have now joined forces. We have made a traveler's notebook into a lace book. And they've had a baby. And it's this lace-covered traveler's notebook. So, I hope y'all give this a shot. It was a lot of fun to make. Now that I've actually done the whole process, I think I could make a whole bunch of them um, pretty easy. But I need more flowers. I need, to, I need to make some flowers. I haven't done that in a while. Um, but anyway, I appreciate y'all watching, keeping up with me. And Gold Star to all of you who have gone through and watched the video all the way, the video series all the way through. <laughs> I'm always saying I'm going to give you a gold star if you watch it all. So there they are. Pretend I'm giving out gold stars. Anyway, I hope you all have enjoyed this. It's been fun to make it. And maybe I will leave that pink in there. It's starting to look better more and more. And maybe I'll put a little pink somewhere else on here. I don't know yet. But I appreciate y'all watching. I appreciate y'all uh, subscribing. I'm just kind of in awe at how many subscribers have already already uh, been by just this last month and, and subscribed 
y'all are pretty amazing out there and uh, and for all of y'all who have shared the things that you've done and made and uh, how to do different things I, I truly appreciate it I've learned so much and I love watching what y'all do so thank you each one of you happy holidays it's almost Thanksgiving this is Thanksgiving week so please if you're traveling be very careful be cautious and uh, have a lovely Thanksgiving and for those of you who are staying home and and maybe you don't have family I hope you'll watch my videos and um, I'm, I'm probably gonna be making videos because my family's far away and we've kind of already decided we're gonna probably just go out to eat if we can find a place that's open and just stay home by the fire so I hope you'll have a pleasant week take care bye bye